Recovery efforts continue in Japan. In addition to the nearly 25,000 either confirmed, perished or listed as missing, an incalculable number of people are still unaccounted for from the March 11 disaster. On Friday, May 6, Emperor Akihito and Empress Michiko visited the badly hit Iwate Prefecture to offer comfort and encouragement to some of the 130,000 evacuees residing yet in shelters. At the damaged Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant, operator Tokyo Electric Power Company, or TEPCO, continues efforts to bring the facility under control. TEPCO increased the amount of cooling water being pumped into the number one reactor, where a newly installed ventilation system is reportedly working well. Meanwhile, on Thursday, at a briefing in Vienna, Austria, the International Atomic Energy Agency stated that the post-disaster radioactive water leaked from the Fukushima plant could reach the west coast of North America in one to two years. This serves to remind us that the Chernobyl site is still radioactive 25 years after the disaster. Meanwhile, in central Japan, due to high risk of a powerful earthquake in the coming decades, Japanese Prime Minister Naoto Kan on Friday asked that the Hamaoka nuclear power plant be closed. He assured that despite the shutdown, the government would work to maintain power supplies. In the USA, the Nuclear Regulatory Commission is investigating an accidental release of radioactive tritium from the Grand Gulf Nuclear Station in Mississippi into the Mississippi River last week. Meanwhile, the operator of the Kozladui nuclear plant in Bulgaria announced on Thursday that all control rods and their casings at one reactor were being replaced, following the discovery of cracks in many of the protective casings. This is the second such incident at the facility in the past year. In Switzerland, the Federal Nuclear Safety Inspectorate, or ENSI, ordered safety reviews at the country's four nuclear power plants, with a finding of weaknesses but no immediate danger to the population. Our thankfulness Japanese and global governments, personnel and individuals working to ensure the welfare of the public. We pray that all people may soon live in comfort and safety, as humanity's kinder lifestyles help restore the purity of the earth. My friends are living in Fukushima City, worrying about radiation, so when I think of them it's really tough. I would like to see a change in energy policy.